What's happening guys, TechRex here. So I got the iPhone 7 right here and I wanna show you some things. So this is the original model with all the accessories that are still brand new in the box. Everything is in great condition and I wanna show you guys the iPhone 7 here. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video, it's perfectly working, I don't wanna do a software update, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trapping this iPhone 7 in rubber. So essentially guys, I'm gonna show you here, I have some silicone mold. Now this stuff is still very soft, it hasn't hardened yet, but it will take about six hours after I pour some of this stuff into the box because that's what I'm gonna be doing until it cures and hardens and that is when we're gonna find out if the iPhone 7 can survive. So I wanna show you guys, this at the moment looks amazing. It looks very gooey, very delicious looking and as it drips, just like that, guys, that looks amazing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to literally pour this right into the accessories. Then I'm going to pour a little bit of a layer uh, on top. And then the iPhone, I'm going to place like that. And then put the uh, more of that mold on top. So it will be encased in essentially pure rubber. So first of all, we're going to start with those accessories. So let's go ahead and do this very gently and easy. So... Just like that, just like that. And we want to make sure all the pockets are completely submerged. Then I'm going to go ahead and place that where it was. Now I'm going to place that iPhone. And I want to make it very snug, so I want to create a very snug fit so this thing you know is just sleeping very nicely nobody's bugging it so at the moment this is what it looks like but we're gonna be pouring more of course let's continue just like that just like that now what you wanna do is you just wanna kinda spread this stuff around the phone so because it will harden very quick. So you want to get into, make sure it gets into all the creases and soft spots, you know, little in between areas. So it's just a nice clean layer. Finally, just to add the finishing touches, we're going to place the box ever so gently on top for a nice clean fit. And just like that, there's going to be a little bit left over there on the bottom seeping through. That's perfectly normal. Small little change of plan, guys. I'm not actually going to put the top box over. Uh, I feel like it's going to create a very big mess over here, and I want to keep this area smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to glob all this excess that I have left over and just make sure and create this mountainous hill and just keep it there. So it's going to be overflowing, but it's going to look very nice. It'll be very clean and every inch of the iPhone is surely to be absorbed now. So just like that, that's pretty much all of it. So now there's like a thick, you know, four inches of this stuff uh, in the box. And just to show you guys a little bit without shaking it too much, there's the box. And we're just gonna leave it like this so it's gonna be very smooth and we'll see what happens. All right guys, so it's only been five hours and this phone is already cured. This has turned into pure rubber, pure silicone. I'm gonna try, I cannot even take this phone out of its foundation. There you go. So there's the box. You guys can see the rubber just like that as it peels off. So let's check if the phone survived. Oh my goodness. Look at that mold. Whoa. This mold looks amazing though. Check that out. Wow. Let me show you guys. Look at that. They even got this part right here. That is beautiful. And the home button too. I'll show you guys. The detail it captured is beyond my belief. That's really, really well 
even got the side buttons right here but this phone is still on how much battery does it oh it won't even I've got to pop this phone out of here and check it out it's a beautiful mold of the wall charger captured every bit of it so that wraps it up guys I definitely think it's pretty crazy just to imagine the fact that something liquid was going on this iPhone and instead of damaging it it pretty much protected the entire phone I can still turn off and on the phone volume rockers go up and down there's a couple pieces of rubber that are stuck to the bottom where kind of the speaker grill area is but I could probably just poke them out with like a sim tray tool other than that guys this phone is back to normal so hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching as always stay tuned for more videos and peace out